let's face it, relationships can be hard. And relationships post-divorce, well, they can be even harder still. Here are some of the common challenges in post-divorce relationships that, well, if you're aware of them, it helps make it just a little bit easier. For so many of us, once we've been hurt, we fear being hurt again. And so we go into new relationships with, with walls, with barriers of saying, I am not going to allow myself to be that vulnerable again. This is not going to happen to me again. Yet when we do that, we are we're hamstringing the new relationship because you can't have true intimacy without vulnerability. And speaking of intimacy, sometimes those of us that have been married for a long time, well, we, we expect that same amount of connection, that same amount of knowing the other person and feeling known from the very beginning. You know, I remember an awareness that I had when I first started dating of, oh, I know how to be married, but I don't know how to date. When you watch people from the outside starting to date again after divorce, it often seems like they're moving way too quickly and they're just jumping in. And sometimes people will say, oh, they just can't be alone. Well, that might be the case, but I think a lot of it is that they don't know how to start slow. They know how to be married. And so they just act married from the get go. I think sometimes the almost the flip side of that can be true. You know, when you've been in a relationship for a long time, some of that spark, that butterfly feeling, it it disappears. That's normal. And so when you start to date post-divorce and you find that first person that you feel that connection with and you feel that spark, that intensity, it can be easy to misinterpret it as, oh, I was with the wrong person for all those years because I didn't feel that. Even if you did back in the beginning, you tend to forget And you're like, oh, I feel that with this person, so they must be the one. But be careful. That feeling, that's just the newness. It has nothing to do with right person or wrong person. When we face divorce, we we feel a void in our lives. You know, our spouses are often the most important person in our lives, and they take up an inordinate amount of time and space And so sometimes we begin dating and we're looking for somebody to fill that void. That's a dangerous place to be. You you want to feel fulfilled and whole before you find somebody else who is also fulfilled and whole to complement your life. You're not looking for somebody to complete you. You're already complete. So sometimes we put those walls up because we're afraid of being hurt and other times We do the opposite. We're so afraid of the ending of facing another heartbreak that we grasp onto relationships that aren't right for us just to avoid another breakup, which obviously isn't healthy either. For most of us who have been through divorce, we carry baggage, even though I hate that word. And it's it's easy to, you know, blame the current partner for the sins of the old or to put the weight of your triggers on them, or to replay the same patterns that you did in your marriage with the new person. So there is a whole lot of soul searching and responsibility and self-work that has to go in to you before you're ready to fully commit to that new relationship. And then finally, there are just some of the practical matters. You know, for many of us, we married young. And so we didn't have children. We didn't have our own careers or finances or anything else. So it was relatively easy to build a life together. Post-divorce, that's harder. There's often kids in the mix. Um, You've got your established career. You've got finances, all of those things that somehow have to be merged. And that can be quite complicated depending upon your situation. Now, just because relationships post-divorce can be more challenging, that doesn't mean they're not worth it. In fact, I personally believe they can be even more fulfilling. Um, I actually relate it to what's called the IKEA effect, uh, which is a term coined by psychologists that when we put effort into building something like your IKEA furniture, We take more pride in it. We take more ownership in it. 
it means more to us, it has more value. And so those relationships that you work to build post-divorce, they can be priceless.